Believe it or not, I used to think this movie was about a killer snake. How can you really blame me with a title like... The 1986 action flick that was directed by George P. Cosmatos, who also directed Rainbow First Blood Part 2 of Unknown Origin, Leviathan. This was also ghost directed by Sylvester Stallone. The plot. So there's this guy marrying Gobretti, and he is on the hunt for a group or a gang called the Night Slashers. They have gone around the city picking people off one by one, or two by two, whatever fits their night agenda. It is up to Mary and Cobretti to stop these bad guys and to kill a fuck ton of people. Mary and Cobretti is played by, well, obviously, Sylvester Stallone. He hams up his performance. He kind of phones it in a little bit. His ego was like... The Night Slasher, the main one, played by Brian Thompson, is one harrowing, creepy, deep-voiced, and evil motherfucker. He's scary just by the sound of his vocal cords. You pig. I can't even do it that deep. Pig. There's also Ingrid, played by Bridget Nielsen. These three characters are the ones that drive the story. Bridget Nielsen is one of the uh, witnesses to the Night Slasher's escapades. She survives, and now she's a hot target for these Night Slasher game members. It all connects. Sly has bad jokes and a matchstick in his mouth at all times. He also likes to slice the tip off of pizzas. He thought I was going to say penises, because that is... Ow! It's his fetish, not my... Ah! The gain is kind of interesting. In the opening scene, you see businessmen and uh, people who work for the city. And they're baiting their axes together like they're just creating, they're reenacting a ceremony from some barbaric time. It's funny because these people, you wouldn't expect them to be a part of a game. I mean, what was their pitch? Oh yeah, we're going to destroy the city. Kill as many civilians as possible. What will be the reward? Uh, domination. Duh. But their leader, the Night Slasher, is one in Posing, motherfucker. Ingrid is a damsel, but she is not as annoying as I thought she would be. At least she isn't crying, whining, bitching, like the co-star in Commando. I should have mentioned this in my Commando review, but god, that chick was annoying. The acting ranges from good to meh. There are no breakout performances. Brian Thompson is probably the most memorable besides Sylvester Stallone because of his presence. Especially with that voice. The action is relentless. When there is a set piece, watch as Sylvester Stallone destroys it along with all the baddies he can see in the matter of mere minutes. Got a car, it ain't gonna last long. The movie was gonna be much longer. It was even rated X, but they cut it in half and cut out a lot of the violence because, you know, the MPA is a pain in the ass and uh, the runtime was too long for us movie going audiences to sit through. Now every movie's like two hours. This was only like under 90 minutes. Cosmatos directed to this movie with an iron fist. He ruled over the set. And Stallone, he uh, he didn't make matters much better. His ego, like I said, was at its peak. Another thing we lost, like I said, was the bloodshed. What we do get, though, isn't much. The gore, the effects, like I said, this was originally rated X, had more hacking and slashing scenes, and also had more people getting chopped up in a way that was too graphic for an action movie of the 80s. That's probably why they got rid of it. 
but we do get bloody bullet hits and a brutal end fight. I wish we could have had the X-rated cut from Scream Factory, because today they're releasing it. Well, the Scream Factory edition, because I'm not. The reason I'm not buying it is because it's not an X-rated cut; it just has more special features. I have this version, and it's just fine. Maybe someday I'll buy it. The motion picture soundtrack, it is very 80s. It's not as heartfelt as Sylvester Stallone's earlier films like Rambo or Rocky, but it's still listenable. This had potential, a lot of potential, but it is still badass and it knows it. Everyone does a great job doing what they do best. You're the disease, I'm the cure. The lines are awesome, like the one I just said. And sometimes all you need is the best from people to enjoy a movie. Besides tons of great action, which this film has plenty of. Overall, I give Cobra a three out of five. Now that rating doesn't mean I hate the film. I actually really love it. And if I was to read it on passion for the film, I'd give it a four any day. But this is basing it on a film and how it still holds up or holds up in general, even back then. So uh, with that said, Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Twitter and Facebook fan page in the description below. Leave comments and subscribe.